Ross. Hi. Good. Come in. Thanks for coming over. I know you're a busy man. I just, uh, well, I just thought we should talk. Come on, please. Want to talk? Well, <clears throat> here I am. <laughs> Good. I wanted to be able to tell you face to face how much it meant to me that you and Blake came to the party last night. No problem. I was happy to come. Good. It makes me feel as though we're working towards healing that rift between us. <laughs> a rift? I would say uh, Grand Canyon describes a little better, but as you <laughs> say, that's, that's in the past. And uh, secondly, you want to talk about... Oh, let me take your coat. Or, uh, are you hungry? Would you like anything? Vanessa. You're stolen. Just tell me why you asked me over. Well, there is something important that we need to talk about. Our daughter. Come on. Turn. Turn, you stupid. I don't believe this. I don't believe this stupid piece of junk. Turn. Where's the... How do you... Um, uh, are you people nuts in this country? Don't you know how to make cars? You have to... Nice car. Trying to steal it? I'm, I'm sorry. No, you have to speak up. No, it, it, wow. It's, it's busy. Wow. Busy. Busy. What? Frank, what? I can't hear you. What is it? What is it? Huh? I, I... World War Three. I don't know. I... Uh, hell. Whatever it is, it's breaking out in Crete. Riding. All day? How could you how could you leave me like this, Christo? You were safe here. No, I have not been safe here since I stepped onto this island. That is not true. Well, if you believe what you told me yesterday, then it is true. I believe it. Then you're a madman, Christo. You're a madman! You tell me we're married and then you disappear. I knew you needed time. Time for what? Digesting lies? No, I don't think so, Christo. We are not married. You are not my husband. We are not married. We are on this island. Services are cut. Not, I mean, the private sector, it's worse. It's gouging, price gouging, back and forth, up and down the line. And the contractors, the repair work, we can't get a contractor to touch us. What? They, can't, they call it, what, what do they call it? What, uh, um, oh, an unstable area. We had a fire here. Of course we're an unstable area. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to rebuild. We're trying to stabilize. But we, we had three contractors come down here. Three. They gave us prices and they gave us terms that would choke H.B. Lewis. And I, I mean, you know, 
that when we can't put roofs over our heads, when I can't make a phone really, call. I'm I mean, sorry. the wishing sound you hear is just our lives going down the drain. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry, too, but sorry isn't good enough. Sorry doesn't put cream cheese Buzz, in the pan. Buzz, you tell us. Right, am I right? Right. I mean, come on, you're trying, stop us, it's fine, I'm trying, we're trying to rebuild. We need help, we can't do this alone. Yeah. Uh, listen, um... Uh, Lewis Oil d doesn't have anything to do with construction anymore. I haven't been on that end of the yes. business in a long time, all right? So I, I, I can't really help you out here. Oh, you can. You can if you want to. You helped before. You saved my daughter. You saved my granddaughter. You risked your life. You took a big chance. Plus, a lot of people took big chances that day. Yeah, well, we all took big chances. But you know what the biggest chance is? The biggest challenge what we're looking ahead to right now. Come on, we can't let this place go down the tubes. Not after what we've been through. Be shame, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yes, it would. Uh, come on, it would be a shame. It buzz, would buzz. Your white collar world. Do it. Hello. Okay? Do it. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, hi. So you used to be in um, construction. Yes, I did. You have. No idea. About what? My fantasy. You in a plaid shirt, maybe a hard hat, maybe even a tool belt perched. Never mind. I'm sorry. I tried my best, but I can't understand a word. Why about standing up to look at Frank's truck? Where are we going? We gotta go get a phone. It works. But but we have some people to pull down the floor. in your country's uh, traditions. Why not its language? Our grandfathers agreed to this when we were children. Papu. Papu signed this. Both of our grandfathers signed it. It's just a piece of paper. It does not mean we are married, Christo. This agreement on these islands means we are. It is law. That thought's so hateful. You think because we have ancient ways that we do not have modern things. Ambrose. I was expecting him. You must excuse me, Eleni. My brother has, is about to land, and I must meet him. You can talk to your brother anytime. You and I, we have to, we have to solve this, Christo, because I'm not staying here. I want to go home to my husband and my child. Dear Eleni, I want our troubles to be solved also. And that is why I have to talk with him. But it would be best if I did it alone. All right. I will. Call the servants to prepare you, the horses. It would be best if my brother did not see you. I can stay inside, Christo. No, no. There are temples on the other side of the island that are so beautiful. I had wanted to show them to you. But I need the time to think. Okay, I will do what you want this one time, okay? I will have made up my mind by the time you return. You have my word.
But I tell you one thing, our daughter has grown into a... <laughs> Peter. Yeah. <laughs> She's grown into a beautiful young woman. Yes, she has, hasn't she? In spite of all that uh, French makeup that she wears. Well, I'm just, just thrilled that she's here. I am too. Yeah. And I feel that you and I should do everything in our power to make sure that her visit is just a wonderful one. Oh, yes, yes, I agree. Good, then you agree that she should split her time between you and me. I beg your pardon? Well, that she should spend a few days with you and your family, and then a few days w with me and my family, and that way everybody has equal time, everybody's happy, and... I... After all, she, she, she's always sort of... My house is her home. Have you talked to Dinah about this? No. Well, perhaps yet. you should, because I... Dinah may have other plans. Well, I... I'm sure she wants to spend time with me. She did come here last night. Did she talk to you this morning? No. I'm sure she's sleeping in, poor thing, all that jet lag. She'll call me the minute she wakes up. Oh, no. Dinah's been up for hours. Yeah, that young lady, she, she doesn't seem to need much sleep. Huh. Probably all those French cigarettes. Yeah, they can do that. I yes. wish she'd stop smoking those things. Me too, Vanessa. Why don't we just say what's on our minds? I have. I... I, I said it. I... I would like Dinah to spend some time with me. You mean you're desperate to have her spend some time with you? That's all right. Admit it. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's certainly nothing wrong with admitting that you're afraid. <laughs> afraid? Vanessa, you're scared to death. Me and my big ideas have to stop by here on our way to Luigi's. We could be in the middle of Luigi's fettuccine by now. I can't believe this job. I can't even invite anybody to lunch. You've got a job to do, that's all. Yeah, well, some job. Holly gives me this piece I have to finish by, what, 2 o'clock in the afternoon? And it's a fluff piece. Look, Angie, don't worry. You can do your work, and we can have lunch. What are you doing? Well, the Chinese restaurant downstairs is excellent. Got a little egg drop soup, chicken and broccoli, egg rolls. Really? You know, I didn't mean for you to do this. All right, I don't mind. It's been a long time since we've spent any time together. Well, I mean, this is not the way that I wanted to... Relax. Look, something's going to come to you. Besides, I'm a very good speller. Yeah, well, I am not going to let Holly run my life. Now, that's the spirit, mademoiselle. Oh. Thank you. Can I have a spoon? You look wonderful, Tandy. I might even say glowing. Well, thank you. You know, the trip did me good, I think. Yes. And I wish I could say the same about you. You mean I don't look lonely? <laughs> you look really concerned. All that yelling with Alan Michael earlier. What's up? Well, the typical father-son communication problem, that's all. Well, the word typical is not the way that I would describe your relationship with Alan Michael. You know, I'm glad we could have lunch together. It's a lot we have to say to each other. Lunch. Where is she? Now, Hey! hey! <laughs> Star reporter returns to the gym. How are you doing? Patrick, you're still alive. Oh. I'm so amazed. Oh, you know Alan Spalding? Patrick? Sure, sure, sure. How you doing? Now, listen, oh. Bill. All I get is one postcard the whole time you're oh, away. Then I find geez. out you're home and you don't Later. even give me a call. What's going on? Oh, no, wait huh? a second. I tried to call you. Is that right? Yeah, I did. I did try to call you, and I could never reach you. You were out making democracy safe for everybody. I called HQ, and you were always solving the latest Springfield crisis. You believe that? Hmm. You mm -hmm. really tried hard, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I did, but evidently everybody's a lot more interesting than me, which I don't understand. Well, I don't know, Hill. Maybe it's the way you look, you know, kind of worn and seedy. All in all, just downright lousy. Yeah, well, look who's talking. Well, at least I don't look like I live in a cave. What'd you get over there, about two hours sleep a night? I don't need sleep. Higher up on the evolutionary ladder, you know? <gasps> well, actually, you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, well... I'm full of them. Mm. Mm. I would think a girl like you would know how to hotwire a car. Oh, shut up. I did not steal this car. My stepmother loaned it to me. Your stepmother? 
Yeah. Blake, my father's very young wife. Oh. Does she know she loaned it? Very funny. You know, I'm curious. If you're here now, you had to drive the car here. And if you drove the car, that means you had to start it. So why can't you start it now? I don't know. It started when I was in front of my father's house. What are you doing down in this neighborhood? Do you know the area? You're pretty nosy, aren't you? I had a friend who used to live here. I heard about the fire. I wanted to see the damage. Why? What are you suggesting? Nothing. So anyway, I get out, I look around. When I go to start it again, it's frozen. Drive much in Europe? <sighs> not pieces of junk like this. Well, you're probably just not used to driving modern cars like this with anti-theft wheel locks. What? You see this? It's a wheel lock. Yeah. Okay? So when you put the key in, you have to move the steering wheel at the same time and then start it. Simple. Your turn. Majored in shop, did you? Okay, Mr. Blue Jeans, make me cool. Why don't you run through all that again? Excuse me? Well, let's hear all that again. Okay, Miss Smoking makes me feel grown up. You know what I think? I think you're just a cheap imitation of one of those Euro brats with too much makeup. Why on earth would I be at all afraid of anything having to do with my daughter? You're worried that she might be rebelling against you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Okay, okay. Then has it crossed your mind that your daughter may simply not be ready to see you? No, she came straight here from the airport. But she didn't stay. Isn't that why you're so damn determined to make these arrangements? No. I want to make these arrangements because I have a complicated life. I have other children, and I have a job, and I just wanted to get a little organized. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yes, and I'm sure that Dinah probably has a million things that she wants to do, and, and, and she'd probably appreciate a little structure. I'm sure she'd be calling me about it any minute. Oh, yes, yes, of course she'll call. She's all right. Well, yes and no. She does have a, a little... Uh... What? What? Well, sad, but... Also kind of sweet when she came into my room this morning and she put her head on my shoulder and she just sort of teared up. Seems she has an un coeur case. Un coeur cassé. That means broken heart. Yeah, yeah broken heart. <laughs> I believe that was one of the reasons she came back home. She needed somebody to talk to. Oh, well, I wish she'd talk to me. I mean, I'm her mother. I, I could help her with this sort of thing. I think I better call her. Vanessa, no. I think she feels much better now that she's confided in me. Aha! Uh -huh. What is that supposed to mean? It means if she wants help from you, she'll ask. Oh, my, aren't we smug. Oh, no, Vanessa. Oh, no, no, you don't have to get Calm down, I... okay? No, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Why don't you, you try a little, Joseph, like I... I... I most certainly do. Why don't you just go ahead and admit that you're absolutely reveling in all of this? All of what? The fact that Donna comes to town and spends her first night with you and goes to you for comfort, puts her head on your shoulder, and has you try and mend her broken oh, heart. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. You invited me over here, and then you asked me about Dinah. I did not come in here crowing about it. Well, of course not. You're perfect. It is not my fault that Dinah chose to stay with me. But I know that you can't stand that. Because you don't want me anywhere near the girl. From the moment she was born, you have tried to wipe out all traces of that me as her father. But I'm true. telling you something, Vanessa. I am her father, proud of it, and I'm going to do everything I can to be a good father to good. that girl. I want you to be a good father the to that girl. The simple Dinah. fact is, Dinah came to me. And I am not going to give up my one chance to have her love so I can play the long-suffering Ross to your Vanessa guilt. Now, if you've got a problem with that, let's hear about it. 
You are so wrong. Of course I want you to be a good father to Dinah. What do you think I am? I, I hope you develop a very close relationship with her, and that's probably what she'll want. It, it, I want what's best for her. That is just so much bull. That's not even remotely what you want. What you want is Dinah. All to yourself. In fact, I think you have been systematically cutting me out of her life since day one. For instance, do you remember the night of her 18th birthday? No. No. I had planned a big surprise party with your approval, as I remember. But you took her out to the ballet and then out to dinner, kept her out all night, and you never did bring her around. I must have forgotten. Must have. You've always forgotten me when it comes to Dinah. Always. So forgive me if I don't have much sympathy for you right now. Dinah's now old enough to make her own choices, and if for once she's chosen me, then thank heaven, because I've waited all my life to spend a little time with my daughter, and I will be damned if I'm going to talk her out of it. Mouth. No one ever called you a phony before? No one who counted. Actually, a croupier in Monte Carlo once accused me of playing with loaded dice, but he was right. I suppose nothing ever became of that. Or do you have a record? If you only knew how little I care what you think about me. I've seen so many guys like you. Wannabe studs cruising through life convinced the world owes them a living because they look good in tight jeans. Or in your case, they think they do. You've seen it all, huh? Yeah, enough to know what guys like you are good for. And Mumsy knows, too. You can bet the farm on that. Why don't you leave your mother out of this? Well, why else do you think she'd keep you around? She is keeping you, isn't she? My relationship with your mother is none of your damn business. Oh, I can't talk about mommy and her lover boy? Bummer. That taxes the conversation skills to no end. Oh, dear. This really does make it awkward between us, doesn't it? I don't think so. After all, you're blowing this berg as soon as you can, if I remember correctly. And I believe I do. I, on the other hand, will be here with your mother for a very long time. What's wrong with me in a suit and a tie? Nothing. You look great in a suit. You look great in a hospital gown. It's just I think you'd look um, fabulous in work clothes. Anyway, how's your leg with the cast not being on it? In need of exercise. What do you have in mind? I thought three miles around the rest bar would be nice. Are you kidding me? You want to run? Yes, no, I want to run. No, no, out of question. You have to work yourself up to have I am in dire so... need of stretching. See, I knew I was right about you in construction. I knew you were too physical to sit behind a desk. Because I am just as worried as you are. God, look at this place. We have to get to work. Hey, what happened? Did you get a hold of Crete? In Crete? Oh, sort of badly. I mean, the pay phones are just... This. Well, we did get from Giorgio is that Frank is nowhere to be found. And when he was last seen, he was very, very angry. Welcome to my island. the boy. You are rude. No, I think rude is threatening people and their livelihoods. I will ignore your insults as you are a stranger to our ways. 
I'm sick and tired hearing about your ways. I'm Frank Cooper. Where's my wife? Frank Cooper? Nobody told us you were coming. Eleni would have waited, I'm sure. Waited? She left the island by boat this afternoon. Is that right? Well, she should be in Crete by now. Well, then, you won't mind if I look around, then. Wait a second. What? This place is doing good. Nobody's screaming. Everybody is eating. <laughs> hey, thank you, honey. Look, I'm sorry to put you on this thing during the you know, lunch hour, but it's doing good. Thanks. Well, I couldn't have done it without some help. I want you to meet my uh, lunch date. This is Brent. It's my dad. Brent. How do you do, sir? Brent. Brent's your date. Yeah. I like your place. You do, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Brent, you take my daughter to a place like this on a date? No, no, no. That was my idea. Would you please stop playing with Dave? He's a friend. Oh. Hey, you got a little ketchup on your sh shirt there. You work here. He sure did. That kid was working all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he makes a mean handbrake, let me tell you that. He does. A1, he? yeah. Not as good as yours, though. Right. Hey, kid, make me another handbrake, will you, and hop to it? Brad. <laughs> Good to meet you. You too, sir. Look, okay. I need another favor. I gotta go out. I gotta find a phone that works. I gotta find a phone that works. Stavros? No, Anything? Brent, I can't hear. Okay, let's go five past minutes, the fire. Dad, let's find minutes. a phone that works. Oh, nice. Oh. I understand you're not trusting me coming from America. What's that supposed to mean? Lies are a way of life in your country. Is that not true? And they're not here. <laughs> Christos, Christos, boy, bashing America's not gonna make you any friends. I have told you the truth, Eleni left. Then why are all your doors locked? Have you no locked doors in your home? No places where your servants live. Give me a break. My sister's quarters are locked, as are the servants' quarters and other storage areas. Right. <laughs> Do you think I have Eleni locked up? Oh, hey, you're King Christos, aren't you? You can pull any power trips you want. I would never have thought that Eleni would have lowered herself to marry a man like you. I could care less what you think. And I have little regard for your opinions. What have you done with my wife? I told you she is not here. Is this how you behave in America? Enter a stranger's home, search it, and then threaten him. I'm going to ask you for the last time. Where is Elaine? Whenever Patrick and I see each other, we sort of have to get it out of our systems. A little bloodletting can be beneficial. Oh, we don't mean any harm by it. I'm just teasing, Dad. It's nice to know that you've made friends in Springfield. Actually, it's very helpful to see you with Detective Cutter. Helpful? Yes. To see what you like in friends. Well, good taste in Chinese food is a start. Mm. Actually, you know, you never told me uh, what happened between you and Al and Michael. What did you hear? Nothing much. It's a lot of yelling. We're very accomplished at that. Was this about spring electronics? You know, this is beginning to feel a little odd, Angie. What do you mean? Well, I'm starting to feel like I'm being interviewed by a reporter. And that's strange, isn't it? And I thought we were just having lunch. Oh, um, oh, sorry. Oh, it's a, a nasty habit, I think. There's no need for the cover, Tangine. Hmm? What? I know exactly what you're up to. I guess I was just asking too many questions. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be, don't be. Look, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why you invited me to lunch. 
You obviously want a story, don't no, you? No, I, I just thought it would be pleasant. Oh, it is pleasant, but that's not the main focus. You want a story. You, you are, you, you are Alan Spaulding. I mean, of course, everything that you do is newsworthy. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I did want a story, and, and I was using our friendship, and I, I feel pretty low about it. Don't. You were just doing what comes naturally. You were doing a job. You mean you're not offended? Not at all. I don't have to remind you that you're dealing with the king of the hidden agenda. Oh, I really, I really said that, didn't I? Well, you said it a little more charmingly. Mm. And someone who redefines the art of manipulation. No, wait a second. No, no, wait a minute. I didn't say that. No, 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 go ahead. My son says I do it on a daily basis, so go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> this is absolutely absurd, but it's absolutely wonderful. What? Too. What is? What? I better be able to take what I dish out, don't you think? Oh, you know, you're really making me feel awful. It's okay. What, your understanding of all this? Look, you've just proven that you're human. It's made me relax. Yeah, well, I don't get it. You like, you like to, to get your story, don't you? You'll do anything. It's a little bit like watching me. Yeah. You like to control. Yeah. You like to get what you want. And you'll do it in a direct way. And if you can't get it direct, no. you'll manipulate, huh? Do you want me to do a tap dance or something? I mean, now that you've pulled my cover right off, is I've that it? I've enjoyed watching. You're amazing. You really are. Now, what is it you need from me? What I need is the reason why Spalding has sold Spring Electronics. Who wants to know? The journal, my editor. They asked me, dig it up, find out. More than the financial papers know. Well, you're home free, Tansy. Ask away. I'll tell you all you need to know about this so-called brilliant deal my son just made. Oh. <laughs> Springfield Police. Oh, great. What did I do now? What is it, illegal to smoke outside in this stupid town? No, I thought you might need help. You okay? I'm fine. Mm. Car breakdown? It's fine, too. I came to see the old neighborhood. I heard about the fire. I had no idea it was this bad. Yeah, I pretty much wiped out Fifth Street. So sad. You live around here? No, but I used to hang out here a lot with a friend, Harley Cooper. Harley was great. We used to do the craziest things and never looked back. That all seems so long ago now. And you're so old. I'm old enough. So, Officer, uh... Detective. Cutter. Oh, detective. Well, Detective Cutter, do you mind if I finish my smoke? No, no, you, uh, stay as long as you like. Just be careful where you park your butt. <sighs> Will do, I think. <sighs> this is worse than Mayberry. Do not talk to me in such a tone. I did not ask Eleni to come to my island. What's this about not asking? He made it so bad for her that she had to come. She did not honor the ways agreed to, which caused the trouble which she came to ask me to end. Oh, and let me guess. You said, sure, why not? <sighs> One cannot erase ancient agreements overnight. So you refuse to straighten the mess out, huh? The matter involves families, so yes, I refused. And so Eleni left this afternoon. It is too bad you came all the way here from America, only to find Eleni is gone. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Let me get this straight, though. Eleni just gave up, packed her bags, and went home. She told me she was going directly to Athens, and from there straight home. Then she uh, came to her senses, huh? Hardly worth the trip. Whoa! 
Consider this a consultation fee for the wonderful advice you gave me on my occupation and my clothing. I appreciate that. You gave me a lot to think about. Let's go. <laughs> Finally, we got through to Georgia. What sounds Finally, good? Finally, what happened? You won't believe it. Frank hired a helicopter to go to Christos Island and bring Eleni back. <laughs> and if I know my kid, and I think I know my kid, I think, I think maybe he and Eleni are on their way back at this very moment. from riding, my clothing was gone. I sent them to be cleaned. I hope you do not mind. I took the liberty of leaving the gown. It becomes you. Did you see the ruins? Yes. They are, are very beautiful, and you are right. It is best to see them night. There is something uh, that makes them more in our time. Yeah, they did take my breath away. Your island is very beautiful. On the way home, I, uh, I felt so peaceful, so full of hope. Did things go well with your brother? I think so. Have you decided to end this feud between our two families? It has finally... I finally realized that it would be for the best. I, I have convinced you? You... have touched me deeply. I will give you whatever you ask. Oh, I'm so happy. There is one condition, one thing. I want from you. What is it? I want you to spend the night with me. So just leave a message and we'll call you back. Vanessa, it's Ross. Look, I'm sorry about how everything blew up today over at your house. I was a little over the top, I'm afraid. Uh, I certainly didn't mean to hurt you. I mean, what's really important is, is Dinah. I just want what's best for her, as, as you do, you know? There's just no reason, Vanessa, that we both can't love her and let her know that. Look, I have no doubt that she's going to call you today. Uh, she's still a little jet lag, but she may not realize it. Anyway, don't worry. And again, I'm, I'm sorry, Vanessa. So that's it. No need to call me back unless you want to. Bye-bye. really awful with him. I just went crazy. Because most of what he said was true. I, um... I guess what I really want is for Donna to forgive me. For having given her up when she was a baby. Yes, I just really want her to love me. Sorry this is hurting you so much. I could have made those mistakes that I made with her. Well, don't get your hopes up. What do you mean? Well, I just mean that, uh... Dinah just sort of blew into town without a warning. And she might decide to leave the same way. She would do that. She wouldn't do something like that. <laughs> 